Hi everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I have a fun interactive card to share today and it's super easy using the new slider plate die. I'm pairing it with these awesome little critters from the CZ Wild Love stamp set. And this stamp set is going to be a favorite. I've seen so many people use it and I've loved all the projects that I've seen. So let's get started here. I'm gonna stamp out four images because I have two critters on each side of my large wild about you sentiment die that I'm going to use also designed by Kathy Zulski. She's just a creative genius and knows all the trends and I'm just always in awe of her. So I'm stamping my images here with a Copic friendly ink. This is Simon Says Stamps intense black ink and I'm going to Copic color these images and it's going to be super simple. I have the colors there on the right. If you prefer a list of all the color combinations, they'll be listed on the blog for this coordinating post. Be sure to check that out as well for photos. So like I said, super simple coloring. I'm just gonna use a few markers on each of these critters. They are a little bit bigger, which means there's more blending to do, but I'm gonna keep it simple with some lighter colors and some simple shading. I'm using three markers for the main areas and then for the center like bellies and their mouths or faces, I'm using two lighter markers. For the koala, I'm using all grays using the darker color first to go around the sides and edges on tops, however you wanna outline and shade your critters. And then I use the medium color to blend out the dark. And then finally the lightest color to shade the rest. And you don't even have to draw in bellies like I did. I don't know, I just thought, give it a little bit more interest. Doing the same thing with the bunnies using some E40s. And then to finish, I'll add some cheeks with some R30, just some little dabs of pink on their cheeks. I die cut everything off camera and then we'll go ahead and work on our mechanism. So here's a slider plate. It's a very simple die. As you can see, it just creates two channels, one on top of the other with a cute little pull button that you can die cut to indicate where you want your recipient to pull. So I'm planning out my card and I know I want that sentiment to be in the center. So I kind of want to center this slider panel as centered as I can. So I'm using a T ruler and I'm making sure to draw a light line so I know where to die cut so that these tracks are on the same line or linear path, if you will. So I'm gonna take that off camera and die cut my two tracks. So we have our slider elements going horizontally. All of the cards that I've seen have been pull tabs where the element pops up. So I thought this would be a nice and fun way to share how the sliders can be used in different ways. And you can use two slider tracks instead of one on your card. I'm using the negatives of those channels right now to glue together. You don't even have to glue two together. I just thought it would be more support. They're made equidistant so that they can connect that top channel to the bottom channel and we'll be using that later. You also don't have to connect the two. So right now, as it stands, we can have four different sliding elements on their own. They don't even have to be connected. Before I start putting everything together, I'm just gonna trim down this panel so that it's gonna mat a card base later on. I'm gonna use some glider sliding tabs here. These gliders come two ways. This one is the sliding tab because it has that horizontal bar that's gonna keep things nice and straight. There's also one with a round center that will be used for spinning if you prefer your critters or your images to spin. So I'm gonna pop these little sliders into the channel. As you can see, there is a bar going in between this slider and it just holds the paper in between your in between those little notches and it's super handy. So much easier to use than a coin per se and foam tape. Now that those slider tabs are in place, I can go ahead and connect the top and bottom tabs using those reinforcement bars that we adhered together. I'm gonna to use some red line tape because this tape is just so strong and it'll help hold everything together and I have no worries about them failing on me later on. Gonna add just a tiny little piece on each of those little slider tabs and then I'll remove that red line backing and then I can go ahead and add those cardstock bars and that will hold the two sliders together and they will slide together from left to right. As I mentioned, depending on how you want your layout to be, these bars can move vertically and they can also spin on their own. They don't have to be glued together. Now we're gonna work on our sentiment. I have the CZ Wild About You sentiment die. 
And because the critters are all neutral tones, I really wanted my sentiment to be colorful. So I created a paper strip panel here using some rainbow cardstock. And you can see that I store all of my pre-cut strips in little storage bags and everything goes inside a mesh bag. And I can take it with me on the go and just create backgrounds. Um, so quick crafting on the go if you want to do that. I've had it stored this way for about two years now and I just love that everything is stored in one place. And in case you didn't know, Simon Says Stamp sells strip dies in four different sizes and there are two sizes in each set and there are two sets. So if you're interested, be sure to check that out on their store. Now for my sentiment, I want to make sure that my sliding elements will slide underneath the sentiment without any problems. So I'm doubling up on my foam tape right now. I've got two layers of foam tape right here that I'm going to put in the center and that's what's going to hold my sentiment in place. Once my sentiment is in place, I can go ahead and attach my critters. Again, I'm using red line adhesive on those tracks that we created. And then I can go ahead and use my critters to adhere where I want them to go on these slider tracks. I'm gonna attach them and make sure they're tucked underneath the sentiment so that they can slide in and out without catching on anything. When adhering these, you want your tracks to be slid all the way out so your critters are fully visible when they're pulled all the way out. And then when you push them in, they're hiding behind the sentiment. So it's kind of a peekaboo card and it's super fun. Okay, so the sliding plate die comes with this little pull tab medallion, I wanna call it. And I've die cut it with some matte champagne cardstock and I'm adding a bit of red line tape at the bottom of it and I'm gonna tuck it behind my critters where I can still see the word pull and that will help the recipient know to pull on those tabs. And on the back of this to adhere it to a background panel, I'm gonna use some foam adhesive. Again, you don't want anything to hinder the sliding elements on your card. So using foam tape is gonna give it lots of room for those slider elements to move back and forth. I'm gonna attach it to a piece of fog cardstock and then attach it to a card base and then our card is done. So we have these little peekaboo wild love critters just moving in and out from behind that colorful sentiment. I really hope you enjoyed this card. Be sure to check out all of the links if you're interested in any of the products that I used. Everything will be linked for your convenience. I'm gonna link two more videos if you're interested in seeing more. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by everyone. Bye.